The Kennedy family assassinated Marilyn Monroe. What? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna prove it. I'm Avalon. And I'm Issa. And this is Conspiracy Central. Marilyn Monroe is America's sweetheart. But the truth is, I think that a lot of people may think that, you know, our lovely Kennedy family is all perfect. And they were the all-American family and everything they did was right. Wrong. Wrong. Okay. Why? They assassinated Marilyn Monroe. Oh yeah. Because they don't know how to handle drama. I mean, it makes sort of sense. The Kennedys were definitely sus, but that's a pretty bold statement. I'm gonna need you to prove it. I got photos. I got notes. I got numbers. Okay, oh. I'm gonna prove it all to both you, Issa, and to all of you out there. Have you ever heard of something called the Kennedy curse? No, I haven't. What is that? Anybody who ever marries into the Kennedy family or is even remotely involved with the Kennedy family dies a tragic death. The Kennedy family has been plagued with like more plane crashes, automobile crashes, weird medical decisions, and strange under the table deals than maybe any other family in the world. I, fortunately, have a long list of all the things that has ever uh, happened within the Kennedy family to prove that this curse is true. Kathleen Kennedy, also known as Kick, right? Cute nickname. She was kicked out of her family for marrying outside of Catholicism. Not just that, but within five years, both her and her husband died. So that's point number one. The Kennedy family, not above uh, killing people for no reason. So we've established Kennedys generally could murder. You might still be asking, why Marilyn Monroe? Well, I happen to believe that there might have been a little jealousy involved. So we got JFK, President of the United States, you know, heartthrob. And then we got Bobby Kennedy, family man. Apparently married with like several kids, known to be like dad of the year. Marilyn Monroe, both of them, loved her. And she wrote about it in her little diary that apparently everyone was out to find. LAPD even found the diary and has kept it under locks this whole time. She had relationships with both JFK and Bobby. And so she says this, Bobby is gentle. He listens to me. He's nicer than John. Bobby says he loves me and wants to marry me. I love him. John hasn't called, Bobby called. So it seems at that point, right, Bobby is winning. She might have actually liked John more and that made Bobby mad. Classic. Now, always want the powerful man. And always want the one you can't have. Been there, done that, am yeah. I right? <laughs> But Bobby murdered her. Before he killed her, he went on a desperate search around her whole house trying to find this little red book. The diary! Who is this guy? You might ask. This is Arthur Miller. Probably the best guy that Marilyn had been with. Like, he was a pretty chill guy. However, one little fun fact about him was that he was a known communist, which made Marilyn go on to the FBI hit list for potential communist threats. Communism, uh, not typically the best look for the president of the United States at that time. They were like, maybe JFK should not be involved with a communist. So with all the clear evidence that they murdered Marilyn Monroe, you might be thinking, why weren't they in jail? Why? Well, that's because big government was like, maybe it's a good thing that she's out of the picture. Because now our little JFK Marilyn Monroe finagling is done. It all worked out for the government. And they didn't want John to be known to have any ties or sympathies with communism. I mean, you laid it out clearly. If there were to be more evidence, I would be shook. Ha, huh. get ready to shake. Former LAPD detective Roth Miller wrote an entire book called Bombshell about the fact that Bobby Kennedy freaked out and poisoned Marilyn Monroe on the night of her death because he was not stable and all the previous reasons that we've just listed. So with all of this, the Kennedy curse, Marilyn having a love triangle with Bobby and JFK, the FBI cover-up because they wanted the communist Marilyn Monroe to be out of the picture, and finally, the cold hard evidence of the former LAPD detective. It's pretty dang clear that the Kennedy family murdered Marilyn Monroe. You convinced me there's literally no argument here. <laughs> if any of you out there are Kennedys, I'd love to know your opinion. And I don't wanna marry yeah, you. Don't even try. Don't. This is Conspiracy Central, and we'll see you next time.